in this playwright tutorial we are going to see how to work with the date picker so i will be discussing how to select the today's date and how to select the custom dates as well from the date picker field so let's navigate to the browser we will see the scenario and then we will come back to the vs code and we will create the spec file and we will create the playwright test so we will navigate to the this particular url jquery ui.com slash date picker so here we have the one field called date and where we can select the any dates right so this is the scenario what we are going to automate it in few minutes so let's navigate to the vs code and here i'm creating quickly one spec file as a date picker dot spec dot js so that's it so i will copy the one of the test and i will come back to the date picker dot spec file and i will delete the respective code here i need just the skeleton of the playwright test and here i'm updating the name of the test as date picker in playwright so that's it guys so firstly we will navigate to the url so here i will add the url first and once we navigated to the specified url we have to identify the this particular element so this element is present inside the iframe if i inspect the element so we have the one iframe firstly we have to switch into this particular iframe and then we can perform the action on this particular date field element so let's identify the iframe first so we have the class equal to demo frame so simply i will take the class value and here i'll say dot followed by class value so we are able to locate the iframe and simply i will copy the iframe now so we have the iframe locator name and here i'll say page dot so here i'll call to the one function called frame locator so firstly we have to switch into this particular frame then i will ascend back to the one constant variable called frame element so we have the frame now by using this frame i can perform the any action on this particular date field element right so let's inspect the date field now and if you see here which is a which has the input tag and it has the respective attributes and values so i am identifying this element by using the class value simply i will copy the class value again i will put the dot and i will add the class value so if you see here so we are able to locate the date field so let's copy the locator now so here i will use the frame element followed by locator so let's add the locator value here then simply i will use the fill so here i can pass the date format so let's see which, which format of date is this field is accepting now so if i select today's date so it is accepting month followed by date and year so let's pass the any date here so let's pass 22 or let's pass 20 sorry first we have to pass the 12 that's a month followed by date let's pass 20 as a date and followed by the year so that's it guys so we are done with identifying the frame and by using the frame so we are going inside the frame then we are identifying the date picker field and we are selecting the date in that field so i will put some weight so that we can see the execution properly so that's it guys so this is a one way guys how we can select the custom date and next we will see 
how to select the today's dates uh, today's date so we don't know like what will be the today's date right so dynamically how to select the date you will see after executing this test so this is the very simple way how we can select any custom date so it can be today's date you can pass it or you can pass the if it's here so we are able to select the 1220 and 20 2023 and if you see here our test is getting passed so this is the one way of selecting the date from the date picker so let's look at the second way how we can select the dynamically today's date so i will go back to the web page now i will refresh it once again, I will inspect the date field. So if you see here, so today date is 2022. 20, so I, I have clicked on this particular input box firstly, and then I'm going to inspect the today's date. So if you see here, this particular TD tag followed by the, we have class. And if you see the class value, right, which is ending with UI date picker today and if I inspect the next date or even previous date so this particular TD tag and followed by the class does not have the whole value whatever we have seen in the today's date tag right so if you see here the above one which has the different value together right all together so this is a very unique value which will be there if it is the today's date so let's identify the element by using the class so firstly let's click on the this text box then we will get the calendar then we will select the today's date by using the class so here i'm firstly using this particular locator so previously we have used to enter the data now i'm using the same locator then i'm simply calling the method called click so this will clicks on the date field text box then now we have to identify the identify the today's date so if it is let's say today is 22 so it will select the 22 if i execute tomorrow if it is 23 it will select the 23 because based on the class value we are going to, we are going to identify the element so simply i will press ctrl f and followed by that there will say dot value if you see here so it is highlighting the respective element on the calendar right so today date is 22 let's copy this ins inspected value and here i will use the await followed by then i will say frame locator dot locator and then i will pass the css selector and here I'll say just click on that date. That's it, guys. So this time, so our test should select the today's date. That's the 22 date. Let's run the test and see. And after this test, we will see the next way of if you see here, guys. So it has selected the 1222. And if you see here, our test is getting passed, right? So, so these are the two ways of selecting the date picker. So there is another way also. So that is the another way of selecting the custom date value. So let's see how to select the custom date value. So based on the today's date, for example, today date is 22. Say for example, I want to select the three days back date. That is a 19 date or say for example i want to select future date i want to select after four days date so like this custom date can be selected by using the, this particular approach so let's see what is this approach so simply i will take this particular locator we have written to identify the today's date right so if i put this particular locator so it is highlighting the sorry guys So let me refresh the page once. Now let's add the locator. So 
so if you see here so it is highlighting the today's date so if i go inside the td tag we have the another tag called anchor tag so i will put one arrow and here i'll say r a anchor tag so right now it is highlighting the this particular today's date anchor tag and if you see the details of this anchor tag so there is a one attribute called data hyphen date which has the exact value of the today's date right so we will get this particular date by using this we can add the days or we can sub subtract the days and based on the result we can select the custom date so now i what i will do is simply i will take this particular css selector and here i'm using the frame element dot locator and here i will add the locator value so i will save back to the con constant variable called default date so that's it guys so once i'm having the locator by using this one so i will get the data hyphen date value by using the get get attribute so here i'll say get attribute and inside this we have to specify the attribute name as data hyphen date so this returns me the 22 right now so i will assign back this to the another variable called here i will say let and i'll say date value so that's it guys now once we are having the so let me add it as a current date value so once we are having the current date value so we will simply perform some arithmetic operation let's say for example i want to select the three days back date so i will take this current date value and here i'll say so i'll put the brackets and then here i will say three that means it it is going to return me the 19 as the value and once the operation is done then here i will convert back to the integer so here i'll say percent so that's it guys so i will put the brackets and i will assign back to the one variable called custom date so here i'll say const and variable name is custom date so that's it guys it's very simple now so once we are having the custom date so right now this is going to return me the 22 as the as a value and then here we are doing the calculation and this calcul calculation returns me the 19 as value right so now what i will do is so here i am creating one locator as so here i will say element so what i'm doing is here i'm writing a simple css selector guys so the css selector is very simple bracket open bracket data hyphen date and followed by that i need to pass the so this particular custom date over here so that it will matches to the respective data date say for example i want to select 23 so here i need to pass the 23 as the value so in our case based on the calculations so it may return the 19 as the value it is going to it is going to select the 19 as the value so here simply i will say custom date and then i will say here two string that's it guys now after that so i need to pad the single quotation that means i need to write this particular data in the single quotation so that's the reason so here i'm writing single quotation so this is the closing single quotation in the similar way i need to write the another opening single quotation so that's the reason here i'll add single quotation and after that simply we have to close the this particular bracket so i will say here bracket 
so that's it guys we are done with creating the element also now what we will do is by using simply this particular locator that that is element then we will click on the element so uh, firstly we have to use the frame because we have the date picker inside the frame and here let's say locator and inside the locator i'm passing the element what we formatted just now by using the custom date and then so simply i'm calling a method called click here so that's it guys so we are done with the implementation so now it should select 19 as the value because current date is 22 22 minus 3 is 19 right so let's run the program and we will see the output so let me comment out selecting the today's date which is not required so let me summarize what we have done once again so firstly we are navigating to this url then we are identifying the frame by using the frame we are clicking on the date selecting field and after that we are identifying the today's date so based on the today's date we are performing the some calculations here and based on the custom date then we are forming the locator by using that locator simply we are performing the click operation here so that's it guys so let's run the test and we'll see the output output So if you see here guys so there is a some problem we are not able to pass the proper data inside the data hyphen date attribute right so let's see what is the problem here so here we missed to pass the await keywords for the line number 22 and line number 26 so let's pass the await keyword here so that it will get the promised value from the data hyphen date and also i will pass the await keyword here for the line number 26 so that's it guys now let's rerun the playwright test now so it should select the 19 as the date so 12 19 2023 it should select if you see the date here so it is selecting the proper date say for example i want to select the today's date plus 3 that means it will let's say today day today date is 22 and if i add 3 it will be 25 so it should select 12 25 and 2023 so let's run the test now and let's verify the output so if you see here so right now it is selecting the still 19 let me check what is the problem so here we have not added the plus sorry i missed it so this time it should select the 12 25 2023 so if you see here so it has selected 12 25 2023 so this is how you can select the custom dates in the playwright 